Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to Liu Live Everything in Wonder, and welcome back to. Where are we? This is not Luigi. This is not Lucky Liu. Mercedes. I'm a little bit confused. If you're new here, we are Luca and Sara from Liu Live Everything in Wonder. We traveled from Alaska to Argentina with an $800 old truck camper. And when we returned to Italy, we converted our minivan Luigi into a beautiful tiny home on wheels to be able to explore more of this beautiful world. Our family is growing. And we will have to look around for bigger rigs. Please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel to enjoy the adventures of a curious Italian couple. Today we are on an uh, expedition vehicle, Unimog, uh, and we will tour it, uh, we will test it. Uh. We will show you everything of this amazing, beautiful, extreme vehicle. I'm super excited. Let's do this! Today we are super excited to show you and test this 1987 Unimog 1300L. It's an ex-UN troop military vehicle with a 6000 turbo diesel engine, six cylinders in line. The engine type is 366. Let's talk about the measurements of this vehicle because it can be a concern. It is 2 meters 20 wide, 6 meters 20 long, and is 3 meters 30 high. In here we have two original standard engine batteries, 24 volts, a 100 liters diesel tank, two jerry cans, 20 liters each. Back here, this is mandatory here in Europe for safety reason. It has been converted in an air tank for the inflating and deflating uh, tires uh, system. Back here there is a storage uh, for long things. Uh, there are two sand ladders, uh, really strong and thick. The weight of this huge vehicle is 7.5 tons. Up here you can see the two spare wheels uh, and tires uh, and a bicycle rack. Each wheel, meaning tire plus rim, weighs about uh, 110 kilos. So as you can see up there, there is a winch with a crane to lift and uh, low the tires uh, since uh, it would be really hard uh, to do it uh, without it. We can also spot a rear view camera, an extra LED bar up there. Underneath we can spot the grey water tank that is 80 liters. On the driver's side uh, we have another huge tank, 200 liters uh, diesel tank uh, with uh, the other one, uh, 110 uh, altogether. It has uh, about uh, 1000 kilometers range, uh, so it's really good. We have the toilet cassette that you can take it out and empty. Otherwise there is a second system uh, that uh, it will take the waste from the cassette, uh, macerate it, bring it in a second tank down there that uh, then you can dump in the dump station. So it has uh, a huge capacity, it doubles basically the capacity of uh, black water, black tanks uh, and a waste that you can bring with you. And depending on where you are and the facilities that you can find, you can choose uh, between two kind of uh, dumping ways. We have the exhaust of the heating water boiler, fresh water entrances with two different uh, tanks, a huge awning, a storage. In here we have uh, some uh, plugs uh, for the propane and water so you can use the outdoors kitchen either on this side or on the other side as well. Down here we have another storage uh, with some uh, straps, uh, ropes uh, and uh, 
some pipes uh, for the air system. Here on the front we can see an upgrade, uh, so it has been added a huge intercooler and in order to fit it uh, they had to change uh, the hood, uh, so this is a fiberglass a new hood, uh, also this front part uh, and uh, up there we have a huge uh, roof rack uh, with more storage. Uh, the snorkel was already there, is original. And you need to remember this was an ex-military uh, vehicle. So down here is where they used to put the flag. Let's talk about these huge and big tires. These are Michelin 36580 R20 with aluminum uh, rims, bed locks uh, inside uh, that uh, it comes from the military background uh, it means that uh, there is a rubber part uh, inside that uh, if they shoot uh, or they blow your tire you can still drive and get out of bad situations uh, plus uh, here we can see the inflating and deflating system uh, for the tires uh, we'll talk about that more inside the vehicle okay guys now it's time to see the cab inside and unfortunately this is not our vehicle <laughs> but the owner is here with us and his name is Luca Hi. Ciao Luca Ciao. Beautiful name <laughs> <laughs> Approved Luca and Luca <laughs> Luca and Luca and beautiful vehicle Blue Congratulations thank you. <laughs> thank you So Luca show us uh, up here So here we have the, the light bar, the front light bar Here we have the side light uh, up here, uh, up there mm -hmm. And here we have the reverse bar the lead bar. Here we have a small light here just for see the instrument by the night. And here we have a map light. It's, it's very useful when you have to use the computer or to see. So this map. is a computer. This is a computer. Yeah, it's a Panasonic computer where I use a system that it's called uh, Ozzy Explorer. It's possible to use with uh, internal map or downloaded map, so you don't need. Uh, the GPS, the use okay. of the GPS uh, continuously, just uh, you have the map, you have an idea where you are. If you use the map using with the uh, navigator, mm -hmm. uh, you have also the position where you are. Okay, without so interne internet without connection. Without internet connection, yeah. It's important when you are in Africa, in some place where you don't have the connection. Here we have uh, the inflate system, the tire inflate system, where we have the inflate deflate and the measure mm -hmm. of the each tire, single tire, where you can choose here which tire you need. You can uh, choose one, two or three all together where you can inflate, deflate and when you measure you can choose one tire mm -hmm. and then you see the pressure yes. of the tire or you can change decide to inflate mm -hmm. one or four together or deflate all. It's very useful. Have you ever changed the tire by yourself? Mm, yeah, two or three <laughs> times and uh, it's not a nice uh, mo mo <laughs> moment in the, your life. <laughs> you have to stay alone, uh, very quiet and say okay to today I have to to change the tire. It's not a rush process. <laughs> no. It's really slow and you have to be really Yeah, you have calm. to relax, take a beer, take a coke, whatever you want. <laughs> Then you see it is okay, it's time to do. Let's talk about the speed. Uh, down here you can see it tells uh, 100 kilometers and uh, with the huge big tires uh, it can gain uh, 10 kilometers uh, more so it can reach uh, 110 but uh, the cruising uh, speed uh, it's about 85 kilometers an hour that you can reach uh, at uh, 2500 uh, rpm on this side we have the pressure of the air for the brakes uh, and for the um, locks. Down here we have the regular original uh, diesel tank and here we have the supplementary 200 liters tank and here you can pump uh, the diesel from the supplementary tank to the original tank. This is was to cover when it was a military vehicle to cover the lights uh, so if there were some planes trying to search for the vehicles uh, you can put it down uh, and it covers uh, all the, the lights like that. 
and uh, here it was for the military light uh, for registration uh, reasons here in Europe uh, they need to seal them uh, because you cannot use it as a civil vehicle the steering wheel is a Sparco so it's not the original but I love uh, the Mercedes uh, old uh, style touch here is where you can choose between uh, rear wheel drive uh, and uh, then you can lock the middle differential lock so you can put four wheel drive uh, and here you can lock uh, both so you can lock uh, the front differential the rear differential and of course the middle differential and uh, Luca also made a, a modify here that when you are with all three differential locks uh, you can uh, take off the air from the front one uh, so basically you are on a four wheel drive with the rear differential locked uh, so at least you can steer a little bit better otherwise it will be super hard to steer ready for a huge extreme adventure you feel super safe uh, strong uh, beautiful yeah. we have the radio and also the rear camera with the switch here to turn it on and off then we have uh, the gears let's talk about the gears we have uh, four gears in low and four gears in high plus we have uh, this uh, for reverse so you can basically use uh, these four gears uh, forward and backwards the um, higher gears can only be used going forwards so basically we have eight uh, different uh, gears down here we have the um, handbrake then uh, the, um, the start to to start in cold weather to take off the batteries so electricity off and here is a manual trotter just to warm up uh, the engine of the truck there is no connection between the cab and the inside of the camper in Lucky Liu we have a little window where in case of emergency you can go in uh, inside the vehicle and inside the cab but a feature that I really love in uh, this Unimog that is original is this X gun turret that is still in use so Luca kept this because he's a photographer so it's not shooting with guns it's shooting with a camera so let's see I've learned so you move this on the side and you can explore the outside and take amazing videos or pictures here we have the roof rack with the storage and then you can close it back done well done <laughs> okay what do you say let's go inside are you curious to see the inside super let's go okay let's go bought this vehicle this Unimog from Germany this part the camper didn't exist so he built together with a company the, the cell and this company used to build cold storage fridge it's a fiberglass camper and inside they built everything in wood he worked together with another company for the electrical system in total the conversion took about one year and a half considering that Luca is working full time so he was dedicating the time during the weekends or when he has uh, free time to work on this amazing project
Welcome home guys! So we are inside the camper. I would like to start to talk to you about the bathroom. Luca chose to build this camper inside starting from the bathroom because he said I'm traveling in Africa, um, I want some comfort in this moment of my life and I want a big bathroom. So I will show you the bathroom right now that is very huge. We have the toilet, two systems as Luca said before and then we have a very big and spacious shower. In the bathroom we have also a folding sink with the faucet. We ask Luca would you build this again because usually the people use this sink, the kitchen sink for everything and he said that this is really useful because you can wash your clothes, you will keep it. Really nice that you can turn the toilet this way, you can use it both ways really comfortable and we have the shower here with the curtain <laughs> it's huge wow it's super tall as well yeah it's really comfortable building the bathroom here on this side compromised a little bit all the layout of the camper so here Luca needs to needed to put the fridge and the water tank and we don't have the connection with the cab for this reason. This is a 24 volt compressor fridge and underneath we have 150 liters fresh water tank. Then on this side we have a microwave and a two burner stove with a kettle, we have the faucet and the sink. The beautiful view. We have the mosquito net and the cover for the window. Storage space allowed. So one with all Pasta. the food goodies everywhere. <laughs> and here we have a very big one with the cups, the plates, everything you need in the kitchen. And as you can see, you can lock every door. So if you are as you need to do with this vehicle if you are driving off-road everything will stay closed and no mess around here we have a wardrobe basically and a webasto heater diesel heater and the boiler for the hot water we have also a huge mirror <laughs> you can probably see that this a man camper conversion. <laughs> we don't have a mirror in Luigi, by the way, but it's okay. Okay, <laughs> to close this. Ah, and of course, there is a fire extinguisher. Exactly. Let's see here. We have four 160 ampere batteries, gel batteries. Then we have a 3000 volt continuous pure wave inverter. On the roof of the camper we have four 150 watt solar panels. Then here let's talk about the electronics, the water pressure, the heater and we have on this side the 20 volt distribution panel. We can run the cabin heater, the refrigerator, the freezer, electronics, the dimmer, everything that you can see here. And on this side we have the 12 volt distribution panel See, we have more here, the main cabin, macerator pump, this is what we were talking about the toilet before, uh, cabin lights, dining area lights, video system, all this. Right now it's cloudy outside, we are generating 21 watt of energy because it's cloudy now 18 and we are using 44 watt with the lights and everything that we have on inside here. And the capacity of the battery right now is 100% so it's fully charged and what is really cool right now in these conditions we have 240 hours usage of the battery so we can stay here 10 days using everything and we will survive during uh, very sunny days you can see infinity so you can use the <laughs> electricity forever this is super interesting because uh, Right here, if you go on a campground, uh, you can choose uh, 
how much power you can uh, get uh, from, from the campground. Uh, and here you can see how beautiful it was made. Every single cable coming in here, there is a number, as you can see, and then let's say this number is uh, 05. You go to the light, you take it out, and it will be a cable with 05 on that light. So wherever it burns something, you just take it off uh, and you see the number on the cable and you come in here and you can locate it uh, and see what is wrong and uh, where you need to fix uh, the problem. And this is the huge dining and living area. So look at once, a huge bathroom, a huge living area where yeah, you can sure. sit down and work and have dinner, lunch with your friends yeah. and then uh, ready to go bed. This lounge will turn into a queen size bed. So if you like, you can sleep here in emergency cases and four people. Yeah, sure. And then you have this beautiful full size bed that you can, with a system that we will show you in one second, you can low or rise your bed. You ready? Veloce. Wow, it's super I fast. I wasn't expecting it was so fast. Posso fermarmi, no? Usually when you see this system inside the campers, it takes so long, like... This can hold 400 kilos in suspension, so without sitting on anything underneath. Yeah, usually Luca told us that he goes still here, yes. so the weight is not all on these uh, kind of seat belts, uh, yeah. super strong seat belts. And now from this side you can see that you can sleep easily for people. For lazy people that don't want to put up the bed that, uh, again. I, oh, nice. I, I think that for camping standards uh, this is luxury. And here we have the battery station, the recharge battery station with all the USB connection where Luca can recharge the cameras, the computers, everything that he needs during his travels. And we have also a huge window on the roof. And now, let's stop talking, let's see this beast in action. One of my main concerns uh, about uh, this kind of vehicles uh, is the noise uh, when you are traveling. Uh, we are on a really steep road uh, going up hills uh, here in the mountains and uh, we can talk uh, and uh, the noise uh, is not uh, so loud. Uh. It's similar to Lucky Leo. Luca insulated uh, the cab uh, of this vehicle so that's why when it was uh, at military level at uh, the first stage uh, when he bought it, it wasn't like this. This vehicle is registered for three people traveling uh, and uh, as you can see it has uh, two sparkle seats uh, like racing uh, 
pizza and a guana that I eat can be folded. I'm curious to know, Luca, about the camper here yeah. inside. What do you love? And if there is something that you would change? Maybe I could think to change one one day with the induction uh, stove. Okay, so no the no gas stove. maybe mm -hmm. no, because uh, no propane because the propane is it's not easy around the world. You know, you have a different adapter in, in different countries, so sometimes it's not so easy. But the induction uh, stove is a, a good solution, I think. If you have a lot of uh, battery in the truck, uh, the solar panel, you have infinite <laughs> <laughs> electricity so you can use. The things that I love most in my camper is uh, the bed, because um. for me it's very useful and the big bathroom. I, I used the car for a long time with the, the rooftop tent and the things that I miss more it was the bathroom and the shower. I met Luca many years ago. We used to race uh, motorcycles together and I would like to ask you why did you decide uh, to buy and build uh, this vehicle and uh, what is your dream and what would you like to do in the future with it? But I start uh, following my dream to travel uh, around Africa. Uh, I plan a, a trip in Africa. I would like to to stay in Africa with the safe, with mm -hmm. a truck, because you know also in the bush around with the animals, it's more safe with the truck. And uh, and also you have the comfort. Also for the picture, for me, the, the, the truck is uh, fantastic because I, I shoot the picture from the front, from the back, up, wherever you want. And then I have the space for uh, post-production inside. You know very well the long yes. time that you need uh, <laughs> for editing. video editing uh, and things like this. For me, the, the, the truck was uh, the big idea to travel in Africa, all around uh, the world, but starting from Africa. This vehicle is, is beautiful, okay. but it's huge and yeah. very visible outside. Yeah. Are you afraid? Because this is one of the main questions that okay. we also receive. Are you afraid that you, being so visible and so huge, people will try to steal something from you? Everybody knows that you are sure. in that place. Sure. That's a good question. You know, it's uh, around the world, also in Africa, sometimes you would like to be more invisible. You yes. Know? But uh, when you travel, it's quite impossible. There's not one thing that's good yeah. because uh, the car could be stolen. Mm -hmm. The truck is more difficult. <laughs> it's difficult you know. to disappear with yeah. this one. Okay. With a car, you can jump around, go in a street, uh, in a garage, uh, and you'll be lost, you know. With the truck, it's more difficult also because not, not everybody are uh, allowed yes. to, 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 to drive and uh, also because it's big. In Europe, in Italy, you have to get a specific driving license. Uh, when you are driving vehicles that are over 3.5 tons, also in Australia, you need to have this driver license. So a lot of you ask why you don't bring uh, Lucky Liu back to Europe. You are not using uh, Lucky Liu here in Italy, first of all, um, because of the size of the vehicle. Then right now Luca doesn't have a driver license, but he will get one soon that is called uh, c <laughs> letter c, c driver license i only have the b that is the one to drive cars uh, until 3.5 tons and then we don't need to forget the price of the gasoline so gas here in italy is very expensive the cost is the first question that everybody how expensive yeah. it was <laughs> yeah how expensive. do you think that you need to be rich to to build something like this, to buy something like this, or something it's, that is... Uh, if you want to buy a truck like this, uh, made from, uh, or built from a special company, no? it costs a lot. I'm very lucky because I have many friends that uh, spend a lot of time with me 
doing this job so the cost became low it's a big sacrifice you know for the money for everything but uh, if you study well before if you start to see around whatever you see the other track and things when you start and you have to sh be sure that you do what you need you you do this and this for forever life, yes you know? because yeah, it's like having a, a mini apartment yeah sure. because you have everything here so you know, i choose a very strong uh, wood yeah it costs the most of the double of other kind of wood but uh, it's very hard you know high quality material yeah, high quality so, you know so it's very strong it will so last forever it's really interesting because this this vehicle is the opposite of lucky Liu. i mean lucky Liu is huge but we pay 800 dollars <laughs> for for the vehicle and we don't have high quality materials inside or outside it's really old and then here you have uh, old vehicle but that you converted very modern very high quality and both ways you can travel the world both ways you have the freedom to do whatever you want sure. it's just the difference is comfort and security Real reliable yeah. reliability but yes the very big difference is exactly what you say but the very big difference is starting from the age you know, I'm <laughs> nine, I'm 50, <laughs> and so I need more comfort <laughs> yeah. for travel. Before I was traveling with anything, just a tent, it was okay. Now right. I become older, so I think, okay, 50, 60, 70, I need a bathroom, I need a bed. But I can tell you, we are, I'm 34, and I can say I need this right now, <laughs> because I'm pregnant and we are. <laughs> this is the main reason why we are looking uh, for yes. the world to see and uh, test uh, and, uh, and try this kind of vehicles, because uh, a baby is coming, uh, the age is coming, uh, so <laughs> we need to think uh, about uh, the future and uh, it's a, a better vehicle a safer vehicle and uh, of course uh, comforts uh, are uh, needed when you start playing a guitar for example they say you need to practice on a very bad guitar and then when you will become better if you use a very high quality guitar it will be like playing very easily because you have all the experience so Luca yeah. and I we have all the bad experience like say this with a very bad vehicle and now it's the time to probably move forward upgrade yes <laughs> well, thank you so much Luca <laughs> thank you it was to amazing. you I'm very happy to see you to we'll meet you again yes. grazie mille thank Luca <laughs> bye bye today we are in 87 Unimo the engine time 366 2 meters straight. 2 meters west. Mm. Oh, volevo dire. Vai, 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 vai. So let's start from here. Uh, and uh, it has been converted. Little door where you can just a little go. window. A little window. The weight of this vehicle is 7.7 7 tons. No vehicles. The weight of this vehicle is 7. And we don't have the connection with. with this is a 24 volt. It's like when you go around with a, a small puppy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's kind of a dog. I have a tracking. Unimog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is my Unimog. But. And remember, this was a ex military vehicle, so. Vehicle. This was an. Uh, this was a. Huge mirror. Dilia, <laughs> 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 as you can see, it's a man uh, camper. <laughs> <laughs> but they are also used for uh, uh, but they are also used for military vehicles uh, if they are vehicle. but they are also used for vehicle I have a question the last question and then you are free <laughs> <laughs> we will keep the vehicle and you are free to go <laughs> okay. it's okay. just give me a car to go come back it's okay <laughs> don't leave my walk because it's very fun I'm joking <laughs>